Us. Russell Bianca here from Brooklyn, Kent, Chicago. Uh, these days, when all of us are being asked to do social distancing and to stay at home as much as possible and only go out infrequently to get food and uh, medication, but nothing else, and if we do go out to stay far away from each other, six feet or more, uh, most of the time is spent at home. And uh, if you have a family, or if you have a small apartment and don't have a family, you don't have much room. So today's training will be confined to a small space. So I'm here uh, in my uh, basement. There's a garage door here, uh, not very wide. So we're going to keep uh, what we do and what we practice today uh, and the workout confined to this space. So we're not going to do any long, uh, complicated katas that, that will take up a lot of space. We're going to do basics, uh, key home. And we'll do some stretching to start out, of course, maybe five minutes of stretching. And uh, when we do our kihon, we'll stay in this spot. And if we do any uh, walking techniques that require us to walk, we'll maybe do three steps forward, three steps back, and uh, still try to get a good uh, workout and work some upper body combinations in and use the legs too, uh, kicking and punching techniques and blocking, of course. Uh, I hope you uh, are doing well. I hope you're all healthy. I hope you stay healthy and safe. And I hope that uh, our workout today helps uh, break up some of the monotony and give you a good uh, stretch and a good sweat and raises your spirits a little bit. Let's... All right, so first we're going to go into deep stances for a stretch. We call this Gary Udachi, reclining dragon, and we count to five. Itch, knee, sun. Chi, go. Then we go the opposite way into Zen Kutsudashi, but an exaggerated version of it to get a big stretch. Itch, ni, san, chi, go. And then we just turn into like a drop stance, almost like a reclining dragon, but with the front toes pointed up and the heel down, and kind of like a, more like a, you might see in a Kung Fu Kata. All right? So now we're going to lean back this way. Gary Udachi, itch, ni, Sun, Chi, Go. Then we're going to go the opposite direction. Exaggerated Zen Kutsudachi. Itch, Ni, Sun, Chi, Go. And then we're going to turn the other way into that exaggerated low fighting stance. Itch, Ni, Sun, Chi, Go. Let's go through it again. Gary Udachi. Itch, Ni, Sun, Chi, Go. And exaggerated Zen Kutsudachi. With the punch, the oizuki, itch, ni, san, chi, go. Exagger exaggerated low fighting stance, itch, ni, san, chi, go. And Gary Udachi, itch, ni, san, chi, go. Opposite direction, exaggerated Zen Kutsudachi, itch, ni, san, chi, go. In opposite direction, exaggerated low fighting stance, itch, Ni, San, Chi, Go. And let's come back up to Kibidachi or Shikodachi. We're going to just squat and stay down for 10. Itch, Ni, San, Chi, Go. And come up. So now take the shoulders over the uh, arms over the top and rotate the shoulders. Itch, Ni, San, Chi, Go. Ro, Sitch, Hach, Ku. Chi, opposite direction. Itch, Ni, San, Chi, Go, Rok, Sitch, Hach, Ku, Ju. Now swing them, loosen up the shoulders, swing them side to side. Itch, Ni, nice and loose. San, Chi, Go, Rok, Sitch, Hach, Ku, Ju. We're going to use the same motion, we're going to punch. Take our back heel off the ground and use our hips. Itch, Ni, San, Chi, Go, Roku, Sichi, Hachi, Ku, Kiai. So what we're doing here, oh, I stumbled on that. We'll edit that out later. Uh, so even though we're throwing punches, what we're really trying to do is loosen the hips and the shoulders. So let's try it again. Now to your rear. Itch, Ni, keep it loose. Sun, Chi, Go. Turn the hips, rook, sitch, hatch, coop, 
and kia ju. And again, pitch, ni, sun, chi, go, go, sitch, patch, ku, and ju. Alright, so come back to the front. Put your hands on your hips and rotate your neck around, your head around your neck. Itch, ni, sun, chi. Go, and now the opposite direction. Itch, ni, sun, chi. Go, and now side to side. Itch, ni, nice and loose. Sun, chi. Go, roku, sichi, hachi, ku, ju. Now up and down. Itch, ni, sun, chi. Go, roku, sichi. Hatch, coo, and chew. So now we're going to squat up and down like so. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, roku, sichi, hachi, coo, chew. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go. Keep your back straight when you squat down. Rook. Sitch, hatch, ku, ju. And so now, legs wide apart. Put your hands on the floor and start to slowly widen the yoko side to side stretch. Itch, ni, san, chi, go, roku, sitchi, hachi, ku, and ju. Now hold it there. Pick your head up, itch, knee, sun, chi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, junior, slowly walk your legs back. Okay, keep your body down, and now put your fingertips on the floor, feet shoulder width apart, drop your weight from your shoulders down, bend at the hip, and itch, knee, sun, chi, go. Rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. Now on your knuckles, try to straighten your legs. So fists uh, facing, uh, uh, knuckles facing down. Itch, knee, sun, chi. Try to straighten your legs, go. Rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju. Now put your uh, uh, palm heels on the floor, shote, and still. If you have to bend your at your knees, do it, but try to straighten your legs. Itch, knee, san, chi. It's easier if you bend more from the waist and drop your, your upper body. Go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju, squat down. Itch, push your knees apart with your elbows. Knee, san, chi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, you and come up and shake it out. Okay, so now let's turn our wrists. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go. Other hand, itch, knee, sun, chi, go. Now pull down on your fingers. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go. Other hand, itch, knee, sun, chi, go. So now kote gaish, which is a way to unbalance or throw somebody. Thumb in the middle of the back of your hand. Four fingers, grab the fat part of your thumb and twist it. Itch, knee. So your thumb should be facing forward. The, one, the hand that is being grabbed, the thumb should be facing forward. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju, switch. So thumb in the back of the hand. Four fingers, grab the fat part of the thumb. The hand that's green being grabbed, thumb faces forward and twist. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, rook, sitch, hatch, ku, ju, shake it out. And now palms together. This is gasho, which means to be grateful. We're going to pull our hands together and breathe out. Push your hands together hard with force and breathe out. So from the sky to your chest. Itch. And from in front, knee, and 
from below. Son. Now, press your fingertips together, hard, and for a count of ten. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, rope, sitch, hatch, ku, chu, shake it out. So that's our short stretch for today. We'll get into some kihon, some basics, and some combinations. In All right, so uh, we're going to get started with our kihon, which is basics, and we're going to start with the upper body using our arms and uh, hips and shoulders, but basically uh, we're going to do some blocks and show the techniques that you will be blocking and then we'll do combinations. So first uh, block is Jodan Uke, some, some uh, styles call it, call it Age Uke, which means rising. So first you cover and the blocking hand comes up at a 45 degree angle and this should be a fist above the head and a fist away from the head. Not out here, not above your head because you can't protect, but not too far out in front either. So a fist away from your head and a fist above. So one, and after you block, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Eight. All right. Let's go a little faster. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitchi. Hachi. Ku. Kiai. Eight. All right. Kiai. Itch. One. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitchi. Hachi. Ku. Eight. Aya. So that's uh, Jodan Uke or Age Uke in other styles. In uh, Kenshikai, which is based on Kyokushin, we call it Jodan Uke. So now, uh, some styles uh, just have middle blocks and they call them ch uh, Chudan Uke. We have two middle blocks. One is Chudan Uchi Uke, which means inside it, uh, in, in, inside middle block. So it comes from the inside and out. So the, uh, when we start, we'll have the blocking hand underneath. The hand that's going to retract, the hikite, which is the withdrawing hand, is on top. And as you block, you pull it back, but you also turn your hips. The reason to turn your hips is so that this is not flush. So when you do block, there's less of a target. So, blocking hand underneath, cover up, turn your hips, and block. And this should be no higher than the shoulder, the top of this hand because you're blocking the middle area and you can also check by putting a fist in here. There should be only be a fist of space in here, not like so. Some uh, styles like Shotokan have higher blocks like this, but in um, Kenshikai and Kyokushin, uh, it's always like so. So let's start with middle block. So we're going to do uh, right block first, so the right hand will start underneath. Itch! And then ni. Sun. Chi. Go. Roku. Sichi. Hachi. Ku. And Chi. Hey! Alright, a little faster. Itch. Ni. Sun. Chi. Go. Roku. Sichi. Hachi. Ku. Chi. Hey! Alright, a little key. Itch. Ni. Sun. Chi. Go. Roku. Sichi. Hachi. That's Chudan Uchi Uke. We also have Chudan Soto Uke, which starts from back here and turns the hips the same way, except it's coming from the outside in. The hips gives it power, and this is also, obviously this could be a strike too. So when we start, uh, you cover up with the non-blocking hand, bring the blocking hand behind the head, and you just, actually, all you need to do is twist your body and bring the hand that's over the chest into chamber, like so. Get ready for the next block. Bring this behind the head, and like so. In the same way, you want to turn the body. You don't want a block like this. When something comes in, if you miss the block, less target, right? So, one, cover up, two, twist the body, three, 
four. And the same thing, the fish should not be higher than the shoulder when it finishes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And a little faster. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, roku. Zichi, Hachi, Ku, Ai, E, a little faster hit with the key. Ai, Ch, E, Ni, E, Sun, E, Chi, E, Go, E, Ro, E, Zichi, E, Hachi, E, Ku, Ai, Ki, Ai, E. So that's two middle blocks. Shudan Uchi Uke, Shudan Itsoto Uke. We already did Jodan Uke, or rising block. And the next basic block. There are, there are more than four basics, but uh, four blocks, but four are very basic. And this is gate on Marai, lower parry. So we start by covering, and the blocking hand comes up to your ear. And the same thing uh, applies here. You uh, rotate your hips, like so one. All right, moving the target away, moving the target away. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So another thing that's important about this is, is not to bend this way and not to bend this way. Have a straight line along your, your forearm to your knuckle. So on your block, don't be doing this and don't be bending your wrist, right? All right, so a little faster, Guillaume Barai. So we cover up, itch, knee, sun, chi, go, roku, zichi, hachi, ku, hey, hey, a little faster with the key, itch, knee, sun, chi, go, roku, zichi, hachi, ku, chu, hey. So those are the four basic blocks. Yodan uke. Chudan Uchi Uke, Chudan Soto Uke, and Gaidan Barai. So now we're going to do alternate your hands and do Jodan Uke, Chudan Uchi Uke, Chudan, uh, sorry, Chudan Soto Uke, and Gaidan Barai. Again, Jodan Uke, Chudan Uchi Uke, Chudan Soto Uke, Gaidan Barai. So now we're going to start with the other hand. Jodan uke. Chudan uchi uke. Chudan soto uke. And geidan barai. Jodan uke. Chudan uchi uke. Chudan soto uke. And geidan barai. So we're alternating our hands. Now we're going to start with the left hand. Itch. Ni. San. Chi. Now with the right hand. Itch. Ni. Sun, chi, left hand, itch, knee, sun, chi, right hand, itch, knee, sun, chi, a little faster, itch, knee, sun, chi, itch, knee, sun, chi. And now let's go all the way through, left side and right side, ki at the end. Which may itch. So those are the basic blocks. There are other blocks, soft blocks, blocks with the kokan with the wrist, but those are the basic uh, karate, karate blocks. They vary from karate style to karate style, but those are the basics. And we'll be back with some strikes. All right, let's continue with uh, the upper body and uh, hand and arm techniques. And we're gonna uh, do the four variations of Uraken or Uraken, some, some say Uraken, some say Uraken, but Ura, so this is Ura, it's the back or behind, and there are f four basics. The idea with these is to keep the fists loose until the, the second you strike. It, it, you have a fist, but then you only tighten it at the end, so as not to, so as not to waste energy, obviously, and to keep your body loose. So. 
Uraken or Uraken Shomenuchi means to the front, and it's usually striking to the chin. You can strike to the bridge of the nose too. Actually, you can strike anywhere on the face, but bridge of nose and chin. So loose and then itch, and then bring it back. Ni, san, chi, go, roku, zichi, hachi, ku, right? So let's do 20 of these a little faster. Itch, ni, san, chi, go, roku, zichi, hachi, ku, ju, itch, ni, san, chi, Go, Roku, Sichi, Hachi, Ku, Kiai, So nice and loose until the uh, moment of impact. Barak and Sai Uchi uh, is strictly, in my opinion, for the bridge of the nose. It comes down and hits right here, right? So, and you just lean your weight a little into it and you look to the side. So, this can be if you're facing the person or if not. But the idea is it's, uh, it's to the side, so if somebody who's uh, approaching you from either side and is threatening you, obviously. So you use your hips a little. One, two, three. Nice and loose until you strike. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. All right, so 20 of these. Keep the body loose. Keep the arms and shoulders loose. Keep the... Uh, Arms up at shoulder level. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, roku, sichi, hachi, ku, ju, itch, knee, sun, chi, go, roku, sichi, hachi, ku, right? All right, so now you're rocking fur, furiuchi, furiuchi, which is a strike to the body. So if a person was here uh, to the side, you'd be hitting him in the stomach or in the ribs. So the striking hand starts on top, and then when it's finished, goes on the bottom. And obviously the, the opposite hand will be the striking hand. So we put the start with the striking hand on top, and we still use the hips, and we go towards the rear a little. Itch. Put it on the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the hard part when you're just learning this is remembering to put it on the bottom. The striking part is easy, right? You know you want to hit here and you know you want to hit here. But for this exercise, the mental discipline is remembering to where to put it. Okay? So, a little faster. Well, let's do 20. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, roku, sichi, hachi, ku, ju, itch, knee, sun, chi, go, roku. Sitch, hatch, coo, right? So that's uh, Urakan, Urakan, or Urakan Furuchi, which is a back fist, Candice fist, Urakan, uh, to the body. And then there's Urakan, Urakan Moashiuchi, which is kind of like a hook punch, but it's inverted. So a hook punch, you would do this, right? So this one is the back of the fist. So when you do it, one, okay? And you bring it close to your head. So maybe. The idea is you're hitting it and you're going through. You really don't want to hit yourself on the face, but if you stop it out here, there's not enough power. So the idea is one, and then swing it two. And we swing it from the behind the back to get a little extra power. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight. All right, let's do 20. Itch, knee. Sun, Chi, Go, Roku, Sichi, Hachi, Ku, Ju, Ichi, Ni, Sun, Chi, Go, Roku, Sichi, Hachi, Ku, Kiai, and Nori. So those are Arakan techniques. Back fist, Arakan is back fist. We had Shomenuchi, right? Sayuchi. Furu, furi Uchi and Uraken and Moashi Uchi. Oops. So now we're going to just spend maybe five to ten minutes uh, on basic uh, leg techniques. And what I mean by leg techniques are 
kicking techniques that you use for offense. So the most basic one is something that is applicable in close quarter uh, uh, combat, which is he's a Gary, which is a knee kick, like so. Okay, so like so, you would uh, what you're doing here is grabbing the head or behind the neck, and you're bringing this to either the uh, face, if you can bring the head that low, or into the chest. There are other variations from the side into the ribs, but we're going to do the straight up and down one, which uh, assumes we're grabbing the head or the shoulders and pulling the uh, knee up. And when in our t uh, school and our, our style, when we do this, uh, he's a Gary. We point our toes down. So he's a Gary. We're going to do uh, alternate uh, right and left, and we'll start with the right leg. And we'll do 10, and then we'll do them a little faster. Uh, we'll do 20 or so. And at the end of each sequence, even if, when you do 10, let's key on. So, itch, knee, son, chi. Remember to point the toes down. Go. Roku. Sitchi. Hachi. Ku. Ki on. Alright, 20. Itch, knee, son, chi. Go. Roku. Sitchi. Hachi, ku, ju, itch, ni, san, chi, go, roku, sichi, hachi, ku, ki ai, hei! Alright, so 20 more with the ki ai each time. Itch, ai, ni, ai, san, ai, chi, ai, go, ai, roku, ai, sichi, ai, hachi, ai, ku, ai, ju, ai, itch, ai, ni, ai, san, ai, chi, ai, go, ai, roku, ai, sichi, ai, hachi, ai, ku, so that is knee kick, he's a Gary. Moving on to the next basic kick, uh, the next one is my Gary, or front kick. Uh, in this case it's a front snap kick. The way, uh, the way we do it is we pick up the leg, extend, curl the toes, bring it back to chamber and put down. Up, out, back, down. Up, out, back, down. Up, out, back, down. And when you do, put a little of the hips into it, of course, but when you break it down, it's up, curl your toes, bring it out, bring it back to chamber, and then down. So we're going to start with the right leg, let's do 10. Itch, knee, sun, remember chamber first, chi, go, roku, sichi, hachi, ku, ju, so some people just throw the kick out and without chamber. And the reason to do chamber is if, if you want to change your uh, mind and do another kick. If you're just lifting up straight, you're pretty much stuck in doing my Gary. So let's do a little uh, faster. 20. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Roku. Sichi. Hachi. Ku. Ju. Itch. Knee. Sun. Keep your hands up. Chi. Go. Roku. Sichi. Hachi. Ku. Ki ai. Aya. So another part that's important is some people use their hands to balance. Try to always keep your hands up to protect yourself when you're doing any of these kicks. So now let's do uh, 20 my garas. Ki ai itch one. Itch. Aya. Ni. Aya. Son. Aya. Chi. Aya. Go. Aya. Roku. Aya. Sichi. Aya. So that's my Gary front snap kick. Oops. So uh, moving on to our next basic kick, uh, some styles uh, don't even use this. Uh, Goju Ryu, uh, the Okinawan Goju Ryu. Uh, rarely uses this. Um, they will use it to the lower legs and the uh, thigh, but uh, most of the kata, as a matter of fact, uh, you won't uh, see Mawashi Gary in any of the Goju Ryu kata, but it's a, it's a handy kick and uh, it is devastating to the legs. Uh, when you're young and can kick high, it's great to the head too. I'm, I'm not young and I can't kick high anymore, but the basics are the same. The idea is to pick up your leg, turn over your hip, and Extend it now. Some styles use the chusoko ball, the foot, 
our style uses the high so go top of the foot. But the main thing is you don't want to just kick, you can kick from here, but the idea is to turn your hips over, right? And the same thing applies as, as in my Gary, uh, Mawashi Gary, try to keep your hands up. A lot of people use this to balance, but that opens you up here. Ideally, when you do it, keep yourself protected, right? So it's up, and then instead of straight out like Mark Gary, turn the hip over, kick, and bring it back to chamber. Up, over, kick. And also, ideally, you want to kick a little bit downward. That ensures that you're turning your hips over. So I can't kick high. I'm going to do a lower kick, but I'm still going to use the basics. Bring it up to chamber, rotate the hips, turn your foot over, and extend the uh, kick. Bring it back to chamber. So we'll start with the left leg. Itch. Right leg. Knee. Song. Chi. Notice I'm trying to keep my hands from flying out or flying down. Go. Roku. Sitchi. Hachi. Ku. Ju. Hai. So that's Mawashi Gary roundhouse kick. So now let's do 20. Uh, let's try to key eye after each one. Try not to fly out with your hands. Try to keep them up and protecting yourself. Itchy. Ay. Knee. Ay. Son. Ay. Chi. Ay. Go. Ay. Roku. Ay. Sitchi. Ay. Hachi. Ay. Ku. Ay. Chu. Ay. Itchy. Ay. Knee. Ay. Son. Ay. Chi. Ay. Go. Ay. Roku. Ay. Sitchi. Ay. Hachi. Ay. So that's Mawashi Gary, roundhouse kick. Us. Us. All right, so for the final part of this workout, uh, our initial workout, uh, I'm going to take parts of three kata that were created by Shizeki Shihan Monty Allen, who is my teacher and is the senior uh, uh, founder, living founder of the Kenshi Kai Karate Do Association. Of course, the uh, senior, the founder, uh, most senior founder, uh, Shizeki Shihan William Oliver, passed away tragically in uh, November of 2004. And uh, we always think of him when we, we train and dedicate our spirit, uh, fighting spirit and our sweat to him. Nobody worked out harder than he did. Nobody put more into his martial arts than he did. An amazing person. So we honor him with these uh, workouts. Uh, anyway, there are uh, five uh, of the Kage series of kata. We're going to show just the first uh, two counts of each kata, and then we're going to, uh, after we uh, show those and practice those a little bit, we're going to do a four directional, uh, we're going to use them in four directions. We're going to go to the left, to the right, the front and the back, or the west, east, north, south. And that uh, allows us to practice turning and being aware, and also allows us to practice these techniques from both sides, with the left leg forward and the right leg forward, and using the left hand first or the right hand first. So, uh, the Kage Kata number one, very simple, it's stuff we, uh, we already did. Geidan Barai, Chudan Uchiyuke, and uh, uh, Chudan Oizuki. Now, we didn't go through the punch techniques, but in our stretches, and if you remember in the beginning, we did an exaggerated Zenku Tadachi with our uh, front leg and the front hand same forward. That is Oizuki, lunge punch. So, Kage Kata number one starts turning to the left, Geidan Barai and Zenku Tadachi, and we call this Koku Tadachi. Some people call it uh, Neko Ashigashi or Cat Stance. And then we do uh, Chudan Uchiyuke. Then the second move is simple. It's just a uh, Chudan Oizuki. So we'll start again. Two stances on the first move, Zenku Tadachi and Koku Tadachi, or as some call it, Neko Ashidachi. We have a Neko Ashidachi, but it's a shorter stance. So turn to your left. Geidan Barai and Zenku Tadachi. Chudan Uchiyuke and Koku Tadachi. And then Zenku Tadachi Oizuki. So, the way we use it in eight directions, or actually four directions, north, south, east, east, west, east, west. Return. One, two, 
That's the first move. And here's the second move. Now we're going to do it the opposite way, starting with the right leg forward instead of the left. We're going to go directly behind us. Look first. Zen Kutsudachi, one. Kokutsudachi, two. And then Oizuki, three. And we're going to go to our left, which is the front, facing you. Zen Kutsudachi, Gaidan Barai. Kokutsudachi, Chudan Uchiyuke. And then right leg forward, Chudan Oizuki. Now we're going to go to the rear. Look over our right shoulder. Zen Kutsudachi, Gaidan Barai. Kokutsudachi, Chudan Uchiyuke. Then step forward with your back leg, lunge punch. Shudan Oizuki. And then we just look over our shoulder and come back to the front. So, just smoothly going through it. It's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then come back to the front. Alright, so what we're going to do is the same thing. And we'll do one, two. And on the lunch punch, we're going to ki. Alright, itch. Heat. Knee. Heat. Song. Heat. Chi. Heat. And nori. So one more time. To your left, to your right, to the front, to the back. Itchy. Hee! Knee. Hee! Son. Hee! Chi. Yay! Nori. So that is the first two counts of Kage Kata number one. What's? Okay, moving along, we did uh, the first two counts of Kage Kata number one. Uh, very basic, very simple. Kage Kata number two is also very basic, and it uses uh, uh, some of the blocks that we uh, did in our initial uh, uh, blocking uh, drill. And this one uh, starts a little differently. The first one started in Zen Kutsudachi. This one we're going to start in what we call Kokutsudachi, and what some people call Nego Ashitachi. But it, we call it Kokutsudachi, and you, you go to your left. And Chudan Uchiyuke. Now the rear leg, my Gary. Land in Zen Kutsudachi, Jodan Uke. Chudan Gyakuzuki, reverse punch. And Jodan Oizuki. So that's how the kata begins. So we're going to do it left, right, front, and back. So just follow along. One. Now rear leg kicks, two, Zen Kusadachi, three, one, two, three, okay, behind you, one, back leg kicks, two, Zen Kusadachi, Jodan Uke, Jodan Gyakuzuki, Jodan Oizuki, now we're going to go to the front, Jodan Uchiyuke, Kokusadachi, Mai Gary, back leg, Zen Kutsudachi, Jodan Uke, Chudan Gyakuzuke, and Jodan Oizuki. You know, front legs are going to come all the way behind you, like so. Chudan Uchiyuke, back leg kicks. My Gary, Jodan Uke, Chudan Gyakuzuki, and Jodan Oizuki. Look over your left shoulder and come back. So that's uh, the first two counts of uh, Kage Kata number two. So a little faster, we're going to go left, right, front, back, and itch. Me. Son. Chi. Go. Roku. Sechi. Hachi. more time. So uh, after you do this part, remember the leg that's in front comes all the way behind you. Okay? Or uh, when you're going to the left, you just move to your left. But if you're going behind you, the front leg comes all the way 
behind you if you're just going to your left and the rear leg goes to your left. So a little, a little faster. Itch. Knee. Son. Chi. Kage Kata number two, the first two counts, and we alternated left and right, going left, right, front, back. Us. All right, so we're going to finish out, off our workout today uh, with the uh, four directional drill using uh, the first two steps of our Kage Kata. Uh, we've already do, done Kage Kata number one, Kage Kata number two. Number three is a little more. Uh, intricate than the uh, first two because it uses uh, open hand, soft blocks, and parries. So it's not simply a uh, block, punch, kick. So there's a little more uh, finesse to the, the moves and we'll go through them slowly. So what it looks like uh, when it opens the kata is we do Shuto Mashiuke, which uh, other styles, uh, this is Shuto Mashiuke. Uh, we have another name for that, but in our style, we call this Shuto Mahashuke, and it starts with the hands relaxed, bring them up, then bring them here, like so. So there is a, there's a parry there, and there's a strike. For me, this is the parry, right? This one, and here. So, we sink into what we call Koku, Koku I'm sorry, we sink into what we call Koku Sadachi, we turn to our left. Shuto Moashiuke, right? 70% of the weight is on the back leg. We stay that way and we do uh, uh, Seiken Agozuki, which is a four fist kind of like uh, to the jaw, right? Like a jab. So it starts like so. One, two, three, Chunangi Agozuki, and then four. So it's itch, knee, and protecting your face, uh, Chudon Gyakuzuki using the hips, taking the back heel off the ground. And then when you come back into stance, it's actually a strike, like so, right? Some people just do this and get ready. It's actually a strike. So, Shuto no Ashiuke, Seiken Agozuki, Chudon Gyakuzuki using your hips, and then coming back to Shuto Uke, like so. So that's the first count. The next count is you're going to uh, do a fan block to open up the person and push their arm out of the way. So from here, the rear hand comes in front, open hand block, the rear leg, my Gary. Then you do left, Chudan Gyakuzuki, taking your back heel off the ground and punching. And like before, come back into stance, but use it as a strike. So it looks like this, slowly. Shuto Mahashuke, Seiken Agozuki. Shudan Gyakuzuki, Shuto Uke. Clear it out with an open hand fan block. My Gary, take your weight with you. Shudan Gyakuzuki, Shuto Uke. We do it in the opposite direction. Shuto Moashiuke, Seiken Agozuki. Your weight is still on the back leg. Now you switch your weight to the front leg. Shudan Gyakuzuki, protecting your face. Shuto Uke. Do it to the front. Shuto Mashiuke, Seiken Aguzuki, Chudan Gyakuzuki, Shuto Uke. We're going to go to the back. Shuto Mashiuke, right, Seiken Aguzuki, left, Chudan Gyakuzuki, then Shuto Uke. Look over your shoulder and protect. So that's uh, the first two moves of. Uh, uh, Kage Kata number three. So if you count, it's one, two. That's the first two moves. We're going to do it slower since it's a little more uh, involved than the first two we did. So one, two. Other way. One, 
two, one, two, one, two, three, and then come back like so. So we're going to do it one time while we threw, uh, four sides. We're going to key out, key eye on this Gyakuzuki in the second step of each sequence. All right, itch. Thank you for watching. Thank you if you worked out along with us. I hope you got a good stretch and a good sweat. Until next time. Us.